Hi everyone, I'm Lucy from Luna Dive School and we have something very exciting uh, to talk about and show you today. So at Luna we're all about um, empowering uh, female divers and uh, asking lots of people about their interests and their experiences in diving. And a few months ago uh, we made contact with Amy um, through one of our uh, Discover Scuba Diving sessions. And uh, we're here today to introduce her as our partner in crime. Um, hello, Lucy. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Um, and it's so cool that you called me your partner in crime. That's really cool. <laughs> so, Amy, uh, my first question to you is, how long have you been scuba diving for? Um, so, I'm a paddy instructor. Um, and I became a paddy instructor in Sicily in 2016. Um, but I first started diving when I went to university and that was in 2013. So not so long, but um, I joined a club at uni um, and I remember, yeah, learning to dive. Um, the, the, you know, the first thing I loved about it is the social aspects of diving, like the community. Uh, is so beautiful to be a part of and that's what kept me part of it I guess um, um so you died you said you joined a club at uni was that like you know when you're in first year and you're just signing up to like random clubs that you've just never thought of before yeah and it was during freshers week and uh yeah I was like I'm gonna try scuba diving I also tried rock climbing mm. uh, but then I realized when we went to the Peak District that I had a slight fear of heights. <laughs> I, don't, I never realised. Anyway, no, the reason I really enjoyed rock climbing, but I didn't have the strength for it. And I know you can build it up, <laughs> but I was just, I couldn't get myself up. Um, and that's what's beautiful about scuba diving is that it's, you don't, it's the late, no, it's the laziest sport. <laughs> very bad, doesn't it? But it's the best sport for me because all you have to do is float. The community aspect of going to university, there is a lot of people around you and mm. everyone's encouraging each other. But that's why, like what you're doing with at Luna Dive is so powerful because you're creating a community and you're bringing people together and bringing people together always encourages like more out of people. They're more willing to do stuff. Um, so that's why I think it's really cool what you're doing yeah thank you and that's what we're all about just creating that community of like-minded women um divers non-divers just encouraging each other and just feeling supported and safe and together really just having that sort of sisterhood so yeah thank you for that um okay so i i feel like we've kind of touched a little bit on why you love diving but um obviously there, there's that social side of things and that community but um can you go into any more detail about things that you love maybe it's like the traveling or it's the encounters with marine life or a bit of both the reason why i love diving so much uh is because it involves the water i've always loved the water i i was lucky enough with my family when i was younger we used to go on holiday a lot by the sea so we'd be swimming all the time um, and i had my, my brothers with me so we'd all be swimming together um, which has a lot of happy memories so i have that happiness you know a connotation with water um but the idea of scuba diving, like being able to go under the water and stay there for long periods of time, um, is so freeing. Like, um, and it's it's just, I don't know, it's just another type of world, isn't it? Like, you're with people, but you're also by yourself in a weird way. Like, it's such a silent world, um, and you just go into this like meditative state most of the time because you're just breathing. And you're so in touch with your body in that sense. Yeah, it's like, it's literally for me, it's my form of yoga. It's my time to feel at peace. Why did you um, want to become a, an instructor? Ooh, um, I never thought I was going to become an instructor. I had decided, uh, like, after a while that I wanted to do a longer course and more of a professional course but not necessarily work in diving um so i went to sicily um which was a beautiful place um and i went with a dive center called sea spirit they're based near catania in taormina um they're a very good center for professional development but i went there and it was i was meant to only go there for two months um because i just wanted to live 
through di- I just wanted to be in diving continuously and I thought that was the best way I could develop as a scuba diver yeah I ended up working there after I completed my course and then I became an instructor um, and it ended up being like three years of living in Sicily I love teaching because I want to encourage people you know as long as you do things safely and you do things within your limitations and you have a good I think it's important to have a good network around you good mentors and people to learn with and to learn off of as well the thing with diving is at first everyone is just clumsy blobbing around you know sinking equipment flapping around because it's so weird and it's you know it's just so strange it's just not a natural thing to be doing at first and I think there's often a pressure when you're learning that you're like well I want I should look like that I should be able to do that and it's well that's impossible because you know you've only just started even even if you're like a natural and you, and you get it really quickly you're not going to be like a pro because you haven't been doing it as long so. so in your experience as an instructor um what's a common problem that learner divers have and um how do they overcome it or or what do you suggest the biggest uh, obstacle that new divers have usually overcome and that is using their mask for the first time Mm-hmm. and doing um mask skills um and around 50 percent, i would say half of the students i get they will have some form of issue with it and that's okay because it's not them literally the human brain we're not meant to be breathing under the water um that's the biggest uh thing that i see in students is that they're unable to complete a mask skill the skill is they have to fill up their mask and they need to remove the water from their mask under the water. Um, if they're really struggling with a skill, whether that's a mask skill or any other skill, then all I do is, okay, don't worry, let's go for a little dive because you can do stuff and you you know what to do. Like I will tell a student what to do and they will understand what they need to do, but unfortunately their body is not catching up with what's in their mind if that makes sense because it's all muscle memory so what we do is we just go on a dive we go for a little swim around the pools because sometimes someone cannot uh, accomplish a skill because they're feeling too much pressure they're, they're putting too much pressure on their self so it's like take that away and let's, let's just go back to having fun let's just go for a little swim it's about giving someone time and space and taking away that pressure like you're not you shouldn't I mean, it's good if you could do it straight away, but the majority of the time, you're not going to be able to do it straight away. And it's don't beat yourself up on it. Just keep trying. What advice do you give to everyone starting out in scuba? So your number one piece of advice before they start, like what's the the, the key piece of information? Oh God. Um, Well, the biggest advice, if you're starting, just starting out, or you haven't even tried yet, is to know that it's okay to feel nervous and it's okay to uh you know be hesitant in doing something but to just take your time never ever rush in diving if they are good divers people will wait for you if you have a good instructor they will be patient with you okay my favorite question what is your number one encounter natural encounter my favourite encounters are always with octopus because they are just hilarious. You, you, you know, and when I was in Sicily, that's all I ever, um, we all, there's loads of octopus there, the common octopus, um, and they're always hiding in their little uh, rocks with their eyes sticking out. And you can, and, and they're always, they're, if you spot one, they're looking at you and they're trying to hide, but then they're also curious. Um, so it's always fascinating to like interact with them. But only interact with them if they want to interact with you, for example, like not to go in and disturb them, give them space, but maybe they come out to see you and from there you can say hello. But that's always my favourite, but my most, my, that's always my favourite encounter with an octopus. But my most memorable one is uh, in the UK um, and I went with my dive club to portland the isle of portland if you know what that is is down the south coast of england 
we ended up diving in the harbour. There's like a, in the harbour, it's a massive harbour by the way, it's not just like this, like full of boats. Um, and it's only about five metres deep, so it's quite a shallow dive. And I was like, let's just go for a little dive and have a little poodle around, because that's my favourite thing to do actually, is just have a little poodle and look for stuff. And I, I was looking and the visibility wasn't that great, it was like uh, half a metre or like a metre in front of me. And I was expecting oh, some crabs, some nudibranch, or like just like little small life. But then suddenly I was like having a little look and then I looked up and then this dolphin was just here. And I'm not, I'm not, I don't exaggerate. I'm not an exaggerator in life, but literally. And I was, and I was like, what? Because <laughs> I've never seen a dolphin before. <laughs> and, it, and I hadn't expected it. And I think that's what made it so magical is it, is, is it was an unexpected thing to happen. He got really bored and he went away and went to my buddy and then my other buddy. And then he swam off because we was both like, we was all just like, what? Because <laughs> he didn't expect to see a dolphin in the harbour in, in Portland. <laughs> but that was, that, was a, yeah, that was a magical moment. And it, the reason why I found it so magical is because it was a marine, it was marine life that had come to, come to find me and find out what I was and to say hello. It wasn't me going to, you know, like you see crabs and other marine and something and you're, you know, you're looking for them, but this dolphin has come to say hello to me. Okay, so thank you, Amy, for answering all of those questions. It was really interesting to learn a bit more about you and hopefully um, all of our followers uh, have got to know you a bit better as well. And um, we're really excited to be working with you um, in the future. So uh, watch this space for future courses and discover scuba diving sessions and perhaps even some trips with Amy. Um, if you'd like to follow Amy on social media, I will hand over to her so she can introduce her uh, social media handles. Over to you, Amy. Um, so mainly I am on Instagram. I love Instagram, it's my favorite social media platform. It's my little online diary um, in photos. But my Instagram is, you can find me at Scuba Amy. Um, and you can also find me on YouTube. I've started a YouTube channel uh, called Scuba Amy. And it's just a collection of videos on some of my diving adventures, only a few. But mainly it's teaching some theory, uh, you know, some if you're struggling with some theory, understanding if you're doing your dive master course, for example, or even if you're starting out, just some more information around the boring part which is not that boring it's very interesting to learn about like the theory side of scuba diving it helps you understand it's good to have an understanding of your environment so i'd recommend go watch my videos um yes but again i'll be with luna hopefully in the future i'm really excited to be a part part of luna dive um Perfect. thanks for having me yeah thank you for being on board amy it's been great to uh, speak to you and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs>